Hello everyone! Today I'm going to take you to Baia Principe Luxury and Bar Hotel in Punta Cana of Dominican Republic and show you the hotel, its food and services. Baia Principe in Punta Cana is a huge resort containing seven different hotels. Two of them, Luxury and Bar and Aquamarine, are adults only. Luxury and Bar Villas are really close to the beach, so if you don't feel like walking a lot within your own hotel, it will be a great choice. Answering already really hot question about Sargassum, seagrass, yes, it's there in Punta Cana Beach, but Bahia Hotel staff cleans the beach two, three times a day, so we didn't experience too much trouble with seaweed comparing other hotels' beaches. There was always enough of sunbeds and umbrellas on the beach and staff sends off sunbeds few times a day to keep it clean for you. If you stay in Baia Principe Luxury and Bar, you have adults-only villas, adults-only buffet and a la carte restaurants, adults-only beach and adults-only swimming pool. Swimming pool is huge, it has few jacuzzis, bar and it's allowed to have a drink sitting in the water. <laughs> Here you can find all the entertainment that is currently in the hotel. For sure it's less interesting than it would be if not Corona. These are empty. Yeah, the evening shows are empty. Let's hope that they will do something spontaneously. And we are going to the merengue class. I will tell you more about all entertainment in the next oh. vlog because it was changing during our stay due to government restrictions. If you get hungry by the beach or swimming pool, you can grab delicious fresh paella or grilled meat. So, what we have here? Uh, tenemos carne de vaca, paella. Yes, it's the beef tenderloin and paella with uh, seafood. I already tried meat and it's so good. Yesterday we had very delicious steak. Um, ribeye steak in the um, uh, a la carte restaurant and mm. this one is even better mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can also eat something at beach restaurant Las Brisas that is open from early morning until 6 p.m. serving buffet and a la carte menu and if you are too tired to walk anywhere for food you can wait on your sunbed for the staff to bring it for you for quite a short time, as far as I remember, 10.30 to 2.30, you can buy a piña colada made from a fresh pineapple. It costs you $5 and it looks amazing on photos. And it also tastes great. luxurious bracelet ever <laughs> here's the chip to open rooms are big and modern freshly renovated bathroom is very convenient but it's open so you need to feel comfortable with your roommate I advise you to use air conditioning often to keep low humidity in your room With extra charge, you can get a room with private swimming pool, but you have to be aware it's a swimming pool shared with all the ground floor rooms, not just for you. 
The best bar with the greatest selection of expensive alcohols is in the lobby. That's why you can meet a lot of people here in evening hours. Next to the lobby, there is Palmyra Buffet restaurant, where you can have breakfast, lunch and dinner. So let's have a look at huge selection of food that you can try every morning. There are three stations preparing eggs in every way you want. You can have omelettes, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, pochette eggs and so on. Our favorites were Benedict eggs with salmon prepared always by the same lovely gentleman. Tips are appreciated but not required. You will be well and friendly served even without tipping. Beside of great selection of hams, cheeses, vegetables and salads, there is plenty dishes that I would personally consider as a dinner meals. With special occasions you can find special food like we had during Easter's. Normally every day this table is full of mimosa and bloody mary to start your day at a full speed. Ambar has its own coffee shop, open from early morning to a late night, where you can grab really nice coffee and something sweet. Coffee here is much better than in the buffet restaurant, so if you can separate it from your breakfast, then we advise you to have your coffee here. Our morning routine so far looks like this. We wake up at 5 in the morning, we go out to make some photo shoot in the beach and then we go for breakfast and after breakfast we go to our local coffee shop for cake and really good coffee. If you are leaving hotel very early morning, for example for some excursion, you can order a room service that works probably 24 hours a day and you can always take some sandwich with you to the bus. We didn't have lunch at Palmyra often because we usually had paella on the beach or other food in Las Brisas. Anyway, we weren't really hungry soon after huge breakfast. But you can have a look at lunch and dinner meals in buffet restaurant, morning egg stations transformed into fish, seafood, meat, pasta or pizza stations where you can order freshly prepared food. Every evening dinner at Palmyra Buffet restaurant has its own theme. The most popular among hotel guests is Seafood Tuesday. You can check and save this list of theme dinners at Palmyra for your vacations and plan all your meals according to your taste. You can also eat every night in a la carte restaurant. Ambar has three a la carte restaurants only for adults, Pimiento, Meat and Limbo. Unfortunately, Limbo was closed during our stay, so we are not able to show it. There were also three other a la carte restaurants that we could visit during our stay, shared with other Baya hotels, Tequila, The Greek and Thali. In all of them, reservation is required. To book your dinner, you can use computer in the lobby, choose the restaurant, date and time. Let's start with Portofino Italian restaurant that turned out to be our favorite. We had probably five dinners there. Meals that we definitely recommend to try are beef carpaccio, burrata salad with figs, lasagna and seafood pasta.
Next adult only restaurant in Ambar is Meat with steaks and burgers. But you can also order something totally different like a clam soup or a crab pie. Definitely the best meals here were those with meat. Tequila is Tex-Mex restaurant shared with other Baya hotels. It doesn't have this romantic, elegant vibe. It's more like a buffet family restaurant, even though you're served by kind waiters. You can start with really good margaritas and some Mexican snacks served unfortunately in a plastic basket. But guacamole is no limit. We tried Aztec soup made of nachos and corn chicken soup. Then we had fried taco shells stuffed with different fillings, beef, chicken and shrimps. But the best dish at Tequila was sirloin steak with parmesan shrimp. We visited Tequila restaurant twice, it had the most average interior decoration out of all the restaurants. And let's visit the Greek. Doesn't it look good? Here you start with Greek bread and some garlic pastes. Welcome drink in this restaurant was really weird and spicy. So actually Derek loved it. You're looking at pumpkin bisque with quail egg and lemon chicken soup. In all restaurants, food is served in really nice and elegant way and waiters are well educated about service savoir vivre. They are always very friendly, helpful and encourage you to have a lot of food and drinks. Here I have grilled octopus with puree and grilled baby squid that was actually a little too oily for me. Darek has moussaka that had too much cinnamon and tasted too much like an apple pie. And this dish that looks like a shrimp pasta is actually something more interesting than it looks. It is actually gulas with shrimp in garlic sauce. Gulas is imitation of eel offspring that is actually very expensive rarity in gastronomy. It's actually a fish pasta, something like a surimi that is shaped into a baby eels. We enjoyed this dish a lot, please let me know in comments if you ever tried gulas. Last but not least, and actually our second favorite restaurant is Tali with Indian cuisine. I think we have actually a lot of experience with real Indian and also Pakistani cuisine thanks to our travels to the east, so let's see what we can have here. Most of the food is served rather as a fine dine than a traditional Indian meal. Have a look at this beautiful samosa or tandoori chicken. It was actually really good. My favorite dish was lamb rogan josh, slow cooked lamb curry. You can order tasting menu to try a little bit of everything. We recommend also delicious mango welcome drink. Even though this food was a little different and served more sophisticated than traditional Indian meals that we had so far, we really enjoyed it and visited Tali a few times. In this hotel you have the option with extra charge to have romantic dinner on the beach. And it looks amazing, but actually the wind is so strong. We have to consider if we want to eat like this. <laughs> That's all that we have for you today. We hope that you enjoyed our review of Baya Principe Luxury Ambar. We can totally recommend this hotel and we will definitely come back to Ambar in the future. If you have more questions, feel free to ask in comments. We will try to answer all your doubts before your trip to Ambar. Have a look also at Facebook groups uh, where people share their experience with the hotel. I will leave some links in the description. Make sure to watch our other vlogs from Dominican Republic to check swinging in the sky, diving in helmets, sauna islands, snorkeling in Catalina Island or visiting Santo Domingo.
and in the next vlog I will show you the entertainment of Baia Principe Resort so please subscribe to my channel and leave me thumbs up under this video it really does matter thank you very much and see you soon bye